Hey there and welcome back to the second of remaking Undertale in Game Maker and today we're gonna lift the well the way how we can you know still move inside this box even though it does not work technically with move and collide but of course I do like move and collide and therefore we're gonna use it and abuse it with a little circumvention so how can we do this kind of easy so each rectangle has four points they're called bounding box and then for example here this would be something like looking something like this uh, yeah, something like this and then we can actually have walls which would be just for example for the horizontal one one pixel wide slap it here and then stretch it and then the same we can actually do on the bottom part and then I guess you guessed it hopefully at least we can do the same for the vertical and then we just stretch one here and stretch one here and then boom we can actually um, well have our um, player be here and then of course he cannot he's trapped and then this is what we want to have and because these um, dots the bounding box dots are getting uh, having different positions concerning how we stretch it because maybe we want to have it dynamic therefore we need to constantly update well first of all where the positions are and then for the vertical ones the well the sprite height or for example for the stretching the sprite width because these values are inherent in there so let's go into our project file and basically this is what we do so first of all we need to create three objects one two three here we go um why three because even though let's say you are having a horizontal wall so basically two horizontal walls and two vertical walls this is well a little bit uh, tricky because we want to move and collide oh <laughs> I already spoiled it um, with just one thing and one thing is just you know having a parent object which is having those two inside so we just have object wall parent and then in this parent we just press on parent here and then we just uh, put those two guys in there and then therefore if we have move and collide we just apply it to the parent and therefore to its children which are the horizontal and the vertical ones and for now we can just close them of course this looks a little bit ugly so therefore we just apply the correct correct sprites so for example for the um, the horizontal and the vertical wall it's under fight system GUI and then button button boxes and walls and we just apply that quickly so here this is for the vertical boom and close it because we're not gonna open it ever again because this is not uh, needed and then the same for horizontal boom close it just once again um, this thing is anchored here at the middle so because we are stretching it horizontally so therefore middle left and then um, it has just well a width of one and then the height of four or maybe five or six it doesn't really matter but it needs to be one pixel because then we can apply the width uh, the sprite width of the whole of our nine slice of this dude here and therefore um, if you have a sprite width of, I don't know, 400 200 whatever it doesn't really matter then if we just have one it's the same number just multiplied by it and then boom we can instantly use that for our advantage and of course um, we are still having a parent this looks kind of ugly so therefore I just give it a nice little icon this is one of my favorite ones here and then um, well then it doesn't look you know too confusing if everything is kind of you know having no things attached to it so for now do we have anything here yeah let's go into our action box now nothing is happening now we want to actually do a few things so first of all we want to create our walls one two uh, two uh, horizontally and of course two vertically so therefore what we do is and I just copy paste it because I guess you don't want to see me just posting stuff and just typing stuff and this is kind of you know boring um, pointless in my opinion and then we just store them into variables so one for top one for bottom so which are horizontal 
and two for vertical one is on the left side and one is on the right side and as you can see here um because we want to see it above we could use the depth but uh just use for example a specific layer this is the one which is you know everything is on instances but here we just have one above this is cool for effects or whatever therefore i just use this layer and um, then we can actually see those wall above it and then we can use it actually for debugging if we did something wrong so here once again two horizontal um, two horizontal walls and two vertical ones and now we need to put those guys so for example the top wall so let's say we want to start off so what kind of values are we giving it well here we need to start let's say of this point or for example for this point but here this is i guess a little bit easier for our horizontal so this one is bounding box left and bounding box top and then of course we need from here to here the width this is actually defined by this sprite width which is getting you know um well stretched depending where those two dots are so we're gonna do that the same so here our x position is constantly updated of our object wall and our wall. so this is then bounding box left and then this one is bounding box top and here we got our position but of course we need to stretch this dude and then we just say uh, image x scale so we scale it up with well the sprite with and then we're pretty much done this is then for the first uh well wall and we can of course do that for the other one so we just copy paste that really quickly and then not for the top one and then now for the bottom wall hopefully you can follow me because um i'm trying to rush it as fast as possible and here what's the difference between the top and the bottom wall well only this one here bounding box bottom and then we are pretty much done with this this one here and um, we can actually check it out yeah let's check it out so see how that looks and as you can see it's of course not perfect but it's good enough you know here we have that and let's for example move it with our heart boom boom we cannot get out that's definitely what we want of course we, you could just you know make a little few corrections but here this is just for illustration so it does work but hey uh, <laughs> good enough for me so let's do the second part which is then for the vertical one so the one which are going up and down so the first one let's say on the left side so here where is it anchored well it is on the left side and it's on the top side as well which is great but here not we are not stretching it uh, horizontally we want to stretch it vertically so we just say height and then of course our x scale and then let's see how that looks like and then of course we can just copy it to the other one as you can see here that works as well perfect uh, let's just place that inside or for example we can just you know stretch it the way we like it doesn't really matter as you can see now this is modular because it's updating it all the time and then we just take the right wall and hopefully you can follow me on this one it's the same mythology first of all we need to know where it's placed here our x position is now on the right side so right and then it's on the top and then we just stretch it downward with our image y scale and then we're pretty much done that was the whole mystery and as you can see working beautifully and then uh, this is how we solved that issue so that was it then from my side and see you in the next video tutorial have a good one one up indie